Team Schmidt calls this news from the left. I call it garbage and phantasmagoria from the left. Let's have some fun today. Joining me now is executive editor of Newsbusters at the Media Research Center. We love the MRC. Tim Graham. Uh, Tim, uh, welcome to Rob Schmidt tonight. Thank you. Oh, so, okay, so let's start with one of the most disgusting reptilian individuals on the left. Uh, his name is James Carville. I, get, I guess he's run out of uh, ideas. This is a retread of his from 1993, I believe. Let's play the cut. Uh, I told people I have a clue of a PhD in white trashology, and you saw real white trash on display. Mm. And let me say something about Congressman Marjorie Taylor Brink. She dresses like white trash. She really needs a fashion consultant. Can I recommend George Santos? The level of white trashdom in the Republican Party is, is just staggering. That's a man calling an elected member of Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, white trash. The same man who back in, what was it, 93, 94, said if you drag a $100 bill through a trailer park, you get the kind of people who accuse Bill Clinton of having raped them, which to this day stands against him. Um, is, he just, is he just out of new ideas? How low can James Carville go? Well, it's always funny when James Carville wants to tell you how to dress. Um, I think you can see there. Just look at him in the clip. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, look, what this is all about is you're not allowed to actually object when President Biden stands in front of the nation and says Republicans want to abolish Social Security. Uh, I would have been right in the mix. If I was a member of Congress, I would have yelled at him. I would have yelled liar at him because it's a lie. Yeah, I have to say, I, I like this GOP, this MAGA GOP, this America First GOP. When you are lying to the American people, the border is open, 9% inflation, war in Ukraine, Chinese spy vessels across the sky. Yeah, we're, we're going to boo you. We're going to heckle you. All right, I've only got time for one more cut. Here, here's, a, here's a good, good piece of news. This is Matt Walsh uh, of The Daily Wire. Um, taking on the transgender extremists. Let's play the cut. You have testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my background that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and common sense and I have a soul. And so therefore, I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children. That is my experience. Tim, don't we need more of that? Yeah, I mean, I think that the problem here is you know, the legislators who are pushing this, what they're really saying is average everyday parents across the country have no say in what happens in schools with their children. And so they would ask the same question to any parent who wants to know what's going on with their child. Well, you don't have a PhD, so you can't question our transgender you know, propaganda. Uh, to quote a wonderful lady, a, a British friend of mine, she was at one of those swim meets where that uh, failed swimmer who's a man who dresses up as a girl was competing against girls. And um, a, a parent in the crowd said, but you're not a doctor, you're not a biologist. And she said, I'm not a vet either, and I know what a dog is. So you know who you are, Kelly G. Um, thank you so much. Uh, please follow these guys. The uh, Media Research Council newsbusters are absolutely superb. Uh, if you want to prepare for the next two years, if you want to understand the plan the left is implementing against us, check out my latest book, The War for America's Soul. In it, I dissect the sources of the new left, what the Frankfurt School is, what they mean to do, not only to America, but to Western civilization. You've got to know an enemy to defeat them. That's what Sun Tzu taught us many, many moons ago. Likewise, we have an exclusive interview with my former boss, President Trump. It's the first appendix in the book, so don't hesitate. Educate yourself on who the enemy is and what it's going to take to defeat them. That's the war for America's soul. Tonight, my buddy, Greg Kelly, exclusively interviews controversial GOP freshman congressman George Santos in his first interview since a House ethics probe was announced. Santos comes clean 
about why he hasn't always been up front about his past. Don't miss it. My body, Greg Kelly, tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax. I'm Sebastian Gorka, in for the great Rob Schmidt. Stay on this channel. Do not touch that remote. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep your head on a swivel. Watch your six. Hold the line. Never give up. Never give in. And stay frosty.